This is hydrogen tap. More experiments with the Aaron cell SLR8. They're three inches across by eight inches in length. There's 16 of them and they're spaced an eighth of an inch apart. What I'm going to do is do some tests with the amount of electrolyte it takes to activate these. I'm going to be using distilled water in here. Okay. What I'm going to do is show you what tap water can do. I rinsed off the plates with tap water. There's nothing but distilled water in this package. There's my voltmeter and the amps here. I'm charging the a 12 volt battery that I'm using here. When I put the battery across it, even though that whole thing is full of distilled water, just the little bit of tap water that's left on the plates is producing almost half an amp. And if you look at it here, we can't really see that. Nothing really seems to be happening there. But it is, there is half an amp going through it. barely moving but you can see something going on there right there you go so this is just strictly from rinsing off the plates with tap water so you got to be really careful when you do any tests so there's a half an amp going through this cell So we are getting some action. Okay, what we're gonna you're looking at here. Let's see if we get a good shot of it. There. That's how much lie I'm putting in this water. See it's just one grain across. For those of you interested in what lie, how much lie goes in there, I guess you can see what immediately is happening here. That should answer any questions about how much lye is going into this water. With that little bit of lye, we're at 3 amps, 13 volts. I guess I don't have to tell you how much hydrogen is being produced there. You can see there's so much that it's going down. The bubbles are going down. 
that was only with that coating on the top of that screwdriver. This is an Aaron cell, like I told you, three inches across by eight inches down. There are 16 of the plates in there. Each plate is 0 .028 thick, and they're an eighth of an inch apart. You can see the action. It's 13 volts because there's a charger on it. We're at 4 amps. I'm going to have to turn it off. There's too much for this air out here. <laughs> Okay, it's, it's turned off. We'll see how long it takes to get through here. So you can see just how much lye or electrolyte it takes when you have plates that are that wide. Remember, it's the area that we're interested in. So they're 3 by 8. That's 24 square inches times two, there's two sides to each plate, times 16. This particular cell is in this clear plastic, but that's not the way it comes, obviously. I use the tubes, PVC tubes. Okay. It's the cell. As you can see the way the plates are stacked. There's 16, and on this particular cell, this is the twin which enables you to separate the cell in half. I've got the bolt going th entirely through them, so they're, the plates that you've been, the cell that you've been watching, has been alternate, positive, negative, positive, and negative across it. These plates are 0 .028 thick, and it's stainless. So, as you can see, it takes very, very little electrolyte to produce hydrogen when you have plates that are point, that are an eighth of an inch apart. This was distilled water. If anyone's interested in the lye that I'm using, you can contact me at John Aarons at hydrogentap.com. This whole this whole bottle costs like three dollars. 